Hi, Glenn. How are you? Very good. Nice to meet you. A pleasure meeting you, too. I'm going to say, after, after seeing this, I wish we could build sometimes a real spaceship so we can go over the moon and just <laughs> get out. <laughs> That'd be nice. It would. Tell me a little bit about the experience and what got you involved with it. I mean, it's a very nice, you know, cute, warm story. Well, um, when I read the script, I realized, wow, this is really uh, a difficult subject to deal with. And how do you deal with it without it being heavy and dark? Mm -hmm. And yet, don't don't run away from those topics mm -hmm. uh, of loss of, of a loved right. one. And um, the vehicle is Fei Fei. Um, yeah, I picture her a little bit like a ride at Disneyland. She's the little boat that comes along and you hop into it and you go on the ride and, and everything that you, we're gonna see through her eyes, we're gonna feel through her heart, this whole thing. And I, I picture the film more like a visual poem in some ways where you are using symbols to communicate that. It's not so much an intellectual argument that we are making as a emotional one. So you've got alongside of her, this little kid that's like determined to be her brother. And right. no matter what, no matter what barrier he's going to go through it, Fei Fei needs to understand that that's what's happening in life. And Every kid, an adult going through this movie sees that, senses it. Fei Fei runs away from her problem, does not want to face it. Um, she runs away to the extent to go to the dark side of the moon. I mean, it's so clear. And, but that pathway leads her ultimately to the chamber of exquisite sadness. And there's a certain point along the way that Fei Fei says, I, I just wish life could go back the way it was. And, you know, I mean, who wouldn't say that today? Uh, we all do <laughs> that. But you, you don't, and I realized that, man, I've been believing, yeah, that we can go back to the way it was, but life is always lived forward. You don't go back. Right. right. Something's going to be different. We will all have been changed for the, the pain, the difficulty that we go through, just like Fei Fei is going to go through that chamber of exquisite sadness and be changed by somebody else who relates to her pain and she relates to theirs. And that's always the thing that, that really changes us is connecting to somebody else. These are, the, these are the things that I want this film to be communicating. I, I, you did a very good job at doing that because yeah, like you said, we all have our highs and lows and the main thing, anytime something like that happens, we just want to get out. You know, like you said, get me out of this circumstance. Yes. Let me someplace else. If it's the moon, that's fine. If it's LA, that's fine. Wherever, just, you know, get me there. And also, uh, real quick, just talk about the tremendous cast you had in this movie. Wow, you had the who's who of people doing voices. It was very important that we tell the story from an Asian point of view, um, from the actresses, the actors. Um, Kathy Ang was like, was like Fei Fei, if you met her, like me, I, I was talking to her and all the expressions, this light, this, this essential spark that I think is in the characters that I'm always drawn to is they believe the impossible is possible. Fei Fei has that, Kathy Ang has that in her own singing and personality. Uh, Philippa Sue, is like a goddess. I mean, she is bigger than life. She's an entertainer, but not only is she able to entertain, she's able to go dig down really deep and um, touch you emotionally. Um, these were, these were each one, Ken John, what a surprise that he that could writer. sing. This mm -hmm. little ukulele song that he is so much like him and, I mean, even recording him, I mean, there was a point where he, he's in tears. I, mean, I, I was just amazed at Ken's death mm -hmm. uh, and quirky, wacky sense of humor. It reminded me a little bit of Robin Williams in Aladdin, how he's just giving you way more than you could ever use. We could do a, a whole feature just 
about uh, Gobi. Right, right. Well, thank Glenn, thank you so much. Enjoy talking with you, enjoy the movie, and uh, hey, look forward to watching it with my grandkids the next time. Thank you. How many grandkids you got? Three. <laughs> Yay! How old are they? 16, 10, and 5. <laughs> oh, awesome. The five-year-old is really going to get it, and then the other two will be really embarrassed that they're crying. <laughs> I look forward to doing that with them then. Great. <laughs> Glenn, thanks so much. Thanks, Craig.